Hey everybody, it's Mike with Seeds and Arrows Frontier, and today we're out here just doing a little bit of uh, training for uh, deer season. Hopefully trying to get uh, Jake um, familiar with uh, the scent of the deer. Um, I got a little bit of a hide from uh, a, a deer that I had uh, shot last year, and uh, he's a first foot afraid of it. And so uh, I've been uh, training with him. Uh, just a few minutes every day and he's actually gotten more to where he, he wants to play with it now So that's a really good sign So just trying to get him familiar with the scent and uh, I'm gonna start trying to uh, set up a tracking link and uh, See how he does with it right now. He's just loving playing with it. So I was hoping that he would have some hound in him to uh, See some of the kids' toys over there, but he's definitely loving playing with it. That's good. Get that deer, Jake. Get the deer. Get the deer. Get it. Get that deer. Jake. What, I stopped you? Did I stop you? What? What? You want a belly rub? Oh, is that right? He said, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got that deer. I got that deer. I need a belly rub. I need a belly rub. Give me a belly rub. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, a, a belly rub. Huh? Ready? All right. What are we doing? All right. See that deer? You ready? You see that deer? You see that deer? Look at that deer. Ready? I'm gonna hold on to it and then act like I'm gonna throw it. Ready? Get ready. Get ready. Go get it. Go get that deer. Where'd he go? Let's see, so he's starting to circle the area. I got the deer right here. I'm gonna throw it over here. Oh, he found it! Oh, look at that! Good boy! Good boy! Nice. So he's getting more familiar with it, and uh, wanting to start to sniff and hunt. So basically, it just use non-iodized salt to tan the hide a little bit and uh, just so that it's pliable and then uh, just to get en enough to, for him to get that scent so we'll see if it works but uh, he seems to be enjoying it a little bit of play time for him and uh, we're gonna get him some water here good job Jake good boy So the other, the other thing about this video is um, I wanted to do a uh, Browning trail camera update. Now I'm not sponsored by Browning or anything like that, but uh, I've done a couple of wild game cameras and tested them out. They usually last for about a year. Um, I've now had my Browning for uh, um, just under a year, about eight months, and uh, I'm really, really liking it. So I found out some different settings on it, the video settings, and the still camera settings on it just uh um get it there you ready you just want me to throw it don't you ready 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 here we go go get it but uh the uh the settings on the the browning trail camera i mean actually has audible uh so the browning trail camera that i got i did back in the Another video and I'll, I'll try to post that in here as well um, just so you can take a look at it but uh, uh, so I got a couple of uh, decent uh, videos from the Browning trail camera and it's actually got audible sound on it and I put it over one of my mineral licks and uh, one a homemade recipe that uh, I got from a friend but uh, it, it really works really well so the deer seem to be liking it and uh, so I'll let you take a look at those uh, videos.
So if you're in the market for looking for a trail camera, hopefully this uh, uh, helps you to uh, take a look at uh, Browning trail cameras or uh, just gives you a little insight before you spend your money on another one or are uh, thinking about getting a Browning trail camera. But uh, so far it hasn't let me down. It's been uh, impressive. I enjoy the, uh, the deer footage that I get from them. And uh, that, that buck in there is a nice... Uh, nice nine point up and coming so uh yeah we we, we enjoy that but uh anyways i just want to say thanks for watching stay safe make each day count and god bless